Hey, welcome to Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. Today it's not so much about gardening, but preparing a spot for gardening. I'm going to show you how to pull up a bush. Well, I'm out in front of my house, and in this area I used to have a lot of shrubs. They're 30 years old. Their root systems are all up under the sidewalk. Well, they're ugly, and we've been doing some home renovation, and part of our plan is to convert this little shrubby part of our front yard uh, between our path and the driveway into a paved over area where we can put potted plants, potted trees, and some of my citrus and some of my figs. We'll put these out here. We're going to convert that to a, a, a paved over area with some paver stones. First we've got to get these shrubs out. Now I've already cut them back and I've already taken out some of them, but I want to show you how I'm going to get this big giant root out of here with a sawzall. This is the area that is in question. This is my new front door right there. Isn't that nice? I've got my front porch here, and I've got this little garden bed that runs along my walkway and curves around to the front where my garage is. And so, what I want to do is take out all of this stuff. We had, these were put in by our builder 28 years ago, and I've already removed a few of them. But I got online and I started learning how to get these things out the easy way because I didn't want to sit here and have to dig and saw with a handsaw. Um, look at this. This thing's huge. It's uh, been in here a long time and these roots run all over the place. I've got to take this soil down three or four inches in order to put in pavers. So we got to get those roots out pretty deep. But to get that out first, well that's the hard part. I've seen people say you should tie a chain around that and put it on your trailer hitch and pull it out. But I've got roots that probably run up under my foundation and certainly up under this sidewalk. If I just start pulling on things, I could pull up and crack parts of my slab here. I don't want to do that. So I've learned the easy way that you can saw them out with a saw, a reciprocating saw. And that's what I'm going to do. I'll show you how to do that. I'm using about an 8 inch blade here that's made for wood or demolition. And I'm just going to go through and find these roots and cut a circle around this thing. First let me dig away some of this soil. Let's see what we got to work with here. There's a big root right there. I do have this plastic pipe coming down that needs to come out, but it's down in there. I'm not going to replace it, so I'll just cut through that as well. Yeah, that's all heavy roots down there. Just kind of feeling around here to see what's down here. I've discovered bricks and some uh, rocks down in here, and that's not that's not helpful. So if I find anything hard, I'll pull that out while I can. A nice hole there to get into. idea here is to go around the root base. Yeah, that's not moving yet. I think my blade's dull. Yep, let's get a new blade. And your blade's going to be hot, so be careful. All right, we got a fresh blade. We ought to be able to cut a little better now. Alright, 
we've got some movement in there. I'll let my saw cool down and replace the blade again. You can see now I've dug a trench through those roots. What I did was I cut the roots in this circle here, and then came back closer and cut here and dug out those roots that I had severed. Now you can have access to these roots and come in at an angle. So we're going to try to cut some of those out now. Y'all, I got to let my machine cool off. But you can see we got a little bit of movement there. It's still rooted in there though. All right. Well, it's the next day. I had to I had to give up. It was a little I was a little tired. We had our contractor come by, but I managed to get this out. Check that out. This root you can see was huge. It was giving me some trouble. But once I got the trench dug around my root ball, I was able to go in with the saw underneath and eventually pop this out. That's a that's a heavy root ball right there. So <clears throat> now what we'll do is come in here and remove some dirt and we'll use the saw to cut all the rest of these little roots that we find. I find if I cut them into sections like this, they're easier to work with and pull out. So we'll do some crisscross patterns with our, with our saw and we'll be able to remove this soil down to the required depth. I'd say three or four inches. While working on this project, I went through three blades. This one was a short one. And I managed to get some of my smaller shrubs out with those, but I also picked up these longer ones. You want a, a blade that has uh, four to six teeth per inch. That's about what you find on most wood cutting blades. And uh, yeah, these made short work of it. Let's see, these are uh, nine inch long, five teeth per inch. And these are by Milwaukee. Uh, that's all they had. They didn't have the DeWalt brand, but you know, they all connect the same. So expect to go through several several blades and always sharp, always get a new blade if you need to. If things slow down and it feels like it's not cutting, get a new blade. These are cheap and you can see, I don't know if you can see, but let's see if I can get you in focus here. Right here. Come on, focus. They dull up pretty quick and you can see they're not as sharp as they were out of the box. So get a new blade when you need one. All right, well, that turned out easier than I expected. Um, didn't have to hook a chain up, didn't have to put my truck in the yard to pull this out. Yeah, in all, it took about 15 minutes of cutting on this one. That's because these roots down here, some of them are three and four inches of hardwood. And uh, yeah, that took a long time to get through, but, uh, but it's done. Now, we can get all the other roots out by doing a crisscross pattern and uh, digging this stuff out. Now, now comes the real manual labor, digging this stuff out. This soil has been here for 30 years. Lots of stuff's been tossed in these bushes by my kids and you know, bricks and stones and stuff. So yeah, we've got a time now, but that's the easiest way I found by doing some research on YouTube of pulling these bushes out. Let's recap. First, cut a circle around. It's gonna take you a while to get through some of these larger roots. Cut a wider circle around and then come in about well, about six inches and cut a smaller circle around. And then you can dig out those little pieces that you that you cut. And that'll allow you to go under with the blade a little more. And that ought to get you rocking back and forth with your shovel. You wed, you know, uh, get your shovel wedged in there and pull up on it. And then you can get down there with your saw and get the final roots out. So there's our root ball. Yeah, that's some, that's some tough wood down there. All right. Well, that's the way I think uh, I've found is best, is to use a Sawzall. If you don't have one of those reciprocating saws, uh, buy one, beg for one, borrow for one, don't steal one, but uh, they come in real handy, uh, get you a long wood cutting blade, and they'll get right down in that dirt and they'll just chew through everything. As you saw when we were cutting, it takes a while to get through some of these larger uh, hard roots, but it'll get through eventually. Uh, your saw might heat up a bit, give it time to cool down, uh, in all, it took me, um, like I said, about 15 minutes of cutting on this one. I had three others over here that took less time. Real easy. Real easy. Hey, thanks for joining me on Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. Uh, if you like our content, please subscribe. And if you'd like to learn how to grow vegetables in a small suburban context like this, uh, join our community here and find out how to grow your own food. Thanks for joining me. Take care. Happy gardening. Bye-bye.